All right, now we did not use a repel, so we're gonna go in here and not have repels on. Yeah, let's see what shows up. Oh, uh, hi, we've seen you before. Meteor. Yeah, we've got yeah. one of these, right? Yeah, we yeah. Do. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not level 52. No, but that's probably fine because I think they're a trade evolution, anyways. Yeah. There's the, the level on that, unless we were planning on using it, is completely. Oh, uh, also, it has sturdy. Yeah, it has sturdy, I figured as much. Yeah, that's fine. God, I kind of hate that, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just a waste of PP, but it's, it's well, fine. Like, like, they did that to Geodude in, uh, what was it, like, Gen 5 onward? They gave it Sturdy? Gen and... 5 didn't even use Geodude in the wild, though. It used no, uh, no, Rog and Rolla. Yeah, 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 yeah Rog and Well, they gave it to Rog and Rolla, but I think Geodude also, got Geodude. it Just, you know, on. so that caves yeah. are even more annoying. Yeah, and it basically turned caves into, like, the most annoying thing ever. Oh, yeah, I mean, caves were already pretty bad. I swear to God, was there not a generation where they gave Zubat, like, something that was equivalent to Shadow Tag? God, I hope not. I don't think so. I can't remember. Scientist Adam. That would be the the biggest fucking, like, troll way to mess with people, though. Would be giving your Zubat Shadow Tag and your Geodude Sturdy. Yeah, that would be awful. Caves should yeah. not be <laughs> yeah. this annoying. Like, uh, like there's no work. reason that caves have to be just, like, a pain in the butt. No, they, they really shouldn't be that hard. But it's like, I don't know, Game Freak just, like, tries to find ways to make them more and more annoying. <laughs> yeah. Dragon Rush. Uh, it's doing some good damage. Yeah. It is super effective. Oh, no, this one has speed boost. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck that. That's gonna suck for us. Um... Shit. I Average. would have not switched to Falcor. That's fine. It's, it's oh, totally fine. Oh, that thing missed! Fuck yeah. him, then! Yeah! Yeah, he's super missed, so... Oh my god, he barely took any damage. Well, he is Fucking a steel hell. type. Oh, god. I, I would have used uh, Cocancer. I don't know <coughs> if it would have helped, but that would have been my choice. I don't know if it would have. I would have just used Dig. Uh, uh, we'll just drag and fall it and see. I don't think that it's going to be able to kill like us. like it's supposed to be elegant, but the wings are coming out of the head of <laughs> yeah, a tractor Yeah, the, the wings shovel. look kind of weird when they're coming out, yeah. don't I? <laughs> I thought it was meant to be like a pair of weird feather jaws biting down for some strange reason. Nah. Yeah, it didn't quite work that way. <laughs> Man, this thing sucks. Yeah, this is kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, okay, there's Falcor. No. It's good. He did a ton of fucking damage. Uh, yeah, so. yeah, it's fine. Oh, well, really, though, I would have gone with a ground-type move against a steel-type. I I guess. Is that even super effective? Yeah. Okay. I mean, also, dragon-type isn't defensive to it. Although it is defensive to, like, every other thing. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, if this Coke just Hansen has to survive. survive. Yeah, oh. no, you flinched. Okay. Come on. Good. Good to know. <laughs> I didn't know Dragon Rush did that. Oh, that's a pain. Yeah. Fuck. Come on. <laughs> also, Cocancer has that thing where, like, super Filter. effective yeah. stuff doesn't even bother it. Well, so. super effective just hits as though it is normally effective. Yeah. So, like, it's not that like he's immune to super effective. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think he would have even been super effective with that, but like he's more defensive than he looks. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, he's been, like, uh, underused uh, lately, but he's got his uses. I suppose. There. So, yep. Go Cancer. And Trop Hint. Uh, we could probably stick with try it. Cancer. Try getting a dig in. Because if yeah, it works, we're good. Well, because Trop Hint is, is poison, okay. and poison takes a lot yeah. of damage from, uh, oh, oh, from right. yes. drawing type attacks. This is good. Almost it might not kill attacks. it, though. Um, Earth type, we'll ground see. type. see. I'm hoping it will kill it, but you're right. It, there's a pretty good chance. Yeah, yeah. it survived. Yeah, that's um, still half of its stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, are you just gonna heal it? Yeah, I think I will. Alright. I wasn't originally planning to do that, but yeah, I feel like maybe that's a better mm -hmm. option. Because it's not like the thing can kill, uh, kill us in, in two hits anyway, so... Well, you, you never know. It could have surprised us. 
It wouldn't surprise me if those things could learn like one fire move or something that would yeah, just out of completely nowhere. surprise us. Although ground type is resistant to fire, so it wouldn't have been too bad. No, it isn't. Isn't it? No, I, I keep having to correct people on this. Uh, ground type is not resistant to fire. It just does double damage against fire. Okay. It's not Maybe that's what though. I'm thinking. It, just because something is super effective does not mean that the reverse is, yeah, is resistant. that's true. A lot of people make that mistake. That is a really big mistake mm -hmm. that a lot of people make. But filter would have canceled out the super effective on its grass type with a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it wouldn't have been too bad. Yeah. So what's coming out next? Uh, it is a gelin. Oh, okay. So we gotta fight an anti-noop. A nope. Yeah, it's a nope. <laughs> uh, maybe that's what we should have named the nuclear one. Oh my god, I just realized what noop is. What? It's a water bear. No, no, it's it's a sea slug, but it's been flipped over. I can see The, the top it. is the slug foot, and the, the legs are the top of the sea slug. It's also a water bear. It doesn't actually look like a water bear at all. Kind of does. It's got six legs. That's. I think that's the only like thing they really have. I don't know. It. It's it's a beautiful, weird, one-celled puppy, and I love it. I should, yeah, we should have named the nuclear one Nope. That's <laughs> fine. I guess. Uh, so you got a dead Falcor, and then a couple of Pokemon that need the uh, the hyper potions. Yeah. Boop and. Ooh. And then maybe an antidote. Uh, oh yeah. Who needed an antidote? Co-cancer. Okay. I keep thinking ground type shouldn't be poisonable, but it's like, no, nah, that's just steel. No, steel, but that was uh, also, like, they, they went backseas in 7th uh, Gen on that. Oh. Yeah, steel types can totally be poisoned. That's now. annoying. Yeah, it's, it's really fucking confusing because as soon as that changed, people went, what? <laughs> Yeah, and they had to deal with it. It was like, oh like no. Because it's super confusing when they change shit up like that. Yeah, I mean, I guess maybe it was a little OP, but steel types have other problems. It's not like yeah, they're... Yeah, no, they do. Yeah, like, like they're, they're still not, like, that good. Wait, was it 7th gen that they changed that in, or 6th? I can't remember that. It was I, one of I the think ones it was I haven't seven. played. I'm pretty sure it was 7th gen that they changed it in. Signal beam. Yeah, it's fine. I can deal. Yeah. It's weird that that's super effective against a grass type, though, because the logic is like, oh, bugs eat leaves and stuff, but, like, that's a beam. <laughs> so, is it a beam it's of a caterpillars beam. eating you? Uh, I think Ampharos, they give other weird bug type attacks. Oh, shit. A bug type attacks too later on, I was gonna say. Uh, like, I think, I think it's 6th gen adds, like, I swear to God it learns things like defense order. And, and hmm. those other weird That's ones. That's weird. Right? And I think the argument is like, oh, well, the light on its tail, it can whip around and, and convince things. I could be super wrong. I, I yeah, do not 100% remember. And that sounds like it's untrue, but I swear I'm almost positive it's well, true. Well, anyways, why would a beam that happens to have, like, bug associations be strong against a grass thing? That's a very good question. It's like, it's a beam of caterpillars eating your leaves. And that's a horrifying <laughs> thought if someone can, like, shoot beams of caterpillars at you. But, like, I don't think that's what's happening. Maybe it's signaling bugs, like... Maybe. Like, it shines a light on you and a just, bunch of moths descend. Yeah, it's just shining its light, and then you guys have to sit around and wait for, like, six hours while, like, eight moths show up just to, like, nibble on your, your plant Pokemon. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> or maybe it's just, like, like the elements, despite being just, like, you know, rock, paper, scissors, logic, do have, like, elemental, like, energies in the world or some weird shit like that. Maybe. Because it would explain would why dragons sense. are a type and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Although dragon type in the original game was like way more exclusive than it is nowadays. Oh yeah, no. I mean, originally it was just one line, and now yeah. it's like quite. Like, especially in in this particular, like this is a fan game, obviously. Oh yeah, there's a ton of dragons. There are a here. ton of dragons in this game, like an absolute. Because that's shit what people like. Them. Yeah, and but that's, also that's because the big it has thing. fairy type in it, so the balance is different. Yeah, and and I think fairy type really did balance it out, so that Game Freak itself in in real life could add like. Because they, know where, the, types they the, know where the, the fandom things. lies, and everyone likes dragons. Yeah. Dragons are cool. I feel like they haven't really gone all in with dragons, though. They, this one, this fan game, did pretty oh, yeah. good for going in on dragons. Speaking but of which, actual Falcor's game, a dragon. Yeah, no, yeah. Falcor's a dragon. Yeah, like, we're using one right now as we say He's this. He's a dragon ice type. The only other Pokemon that has that typing is a legendary. 
Oh yeah, it's just this and Kyurem. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just this and Kyurem. Every time I look at Kyurem, I think it's steel instead of ice. It just feels more no. steely to yeah, me. Yeah, he's kind of sad, too, because, like, when you find out what Kyurem is in, He's, uh, like, the representation of 9-11. No, no, to he the isn't. Internet. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, he is... So, in Black 2 and White 2, it is uh, dressed that Kyurem is the third part of a major dragon who, in its, uh, like super form had to explode into three parts to keep something safe or something weird like that. So it's mm. Kyurem and then Zekrom and Reshiram. Yeah. And they cannot fuse back together. Like, not all three of them, but you can fuse two at a time. <laughs> yeah, because um, Reshiram and Zekrom are, like, opposite, so they can't both be in it, right? Something like that? Some sort of uh, yin-yang thing? I, I don't know if that's explicitly what it is. I think it's that just the, the body for Kyurem can only handle one at a time. Okay. So you get, like, the the gene splice for Zekrom or the gene splice for Reshiram, and then you have Kyurem hold it, and then he turns into, you know, Kyurem oh, Reshiram it's another or, or the other way. Uh, oh god. Uh, electric, so we want to use... Co-cancer. Uh, Co-cancer, sure. Yeah. Co-cancer would be the best option to get something that is electric type. So long obviously. as it doesn't have levitate. <laughs> you know what? I hadn't even given that any thought. You might be super but right. But this thing looks cool enough and gimmicky enough that it, they'd want to give it something more interesting. You'd think so, anyway. Right? That is my my guess. That is what I'm banking on. I'm fairly confident. <laughs> Might be wrong. I don't know. No, it doesn't. There okay, we go. Good. So it's yeah, electric it's and psychic. Yeah, it's probably got some other weird thing. Electric and psychic. Yeah, type. like it's pink. That makes sense. I would have guessed ghost, but either way. Yeah, that, it just seems kind of weird when I sit down and, and think about it because it's one of those typings where like I don't think anything's that. Electric and psychic. I have no idea. I, like, I can't think of anything. It yeah. would have to wind up being a robot for that to really work. Because it's got to be something that is electric and psychic. No, it could be some oh, other no. weird shit. You know it could what? be, like, ball lightning. You know what? Electric and psychic is right, you. Uh, the Alolan oh, the variation. Alolan. I keep thinking that thing's People fairy. People keep thinking it's fairy. That is totally adorable. a psychic type. It's it's electric and psychic. Okay, I so it's that and this, this thing. Yeah. Although I'm sure that doesn't show up in this game. Yeah, probably not. It'd be kind of weird if it did. Yeah, um, didn't this game release technically before uh, yeah, the, the Sun and Moon? Yeah, I think it did. Or at the very least, it was in production before that. Yeah. I think it's technically been in production for like a decade, because if you count it just being like fake, mount, fake Mon designs from the creators. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Eh, if you count that, it's probably been like 10 while. years or something like that. Sure. Yeah, they probably had this idea brewing in some form and had just sort of built it up. It's like, the, the, there's no way, because this is a hobby thing that, that they were doing it within a, the span that you would for a normal game because they have day jobs yeah i assume yeah i would assume as well yeah like even if you don't have a day job if you're not actively getting paid to do a project like this most people aren't going to get it done super fast you know yeah, yeah. like it, it's just kind of hard to do this level of intricate stuff because this is a really intricate game oh yeah no this is it, yeah. as far as fan games go this is really yeah really intricate. so to get uh, this some... far like there's no way they were doing it like non-stop this was years yeah I, i've heard some people by the way claim that this is a rom hack this is not a rom hack this nope. is built from the ground up from scratch yeah this, this is... is a a game that is 100 percent like handmade yeah like they because it's well, made other than RPG borrowing maker. sprites and stuff like yeah that. It's made an RPG maker, so it's not like they could have started with any kind of base with the database that was in, in yeah. a regular Pokemon game. Yep, yep, yep. They have to translate it through the weird quirks of a game-making program, too. Like, the, the sprites are, are taken, but it's like they've given you a lot of options for that, and too. And not all of the sprites are taken, either. A lot of yeah. these are unique. Yeah, and even amongst the ones that they've uh, this took, one's like, unique, at least by they're the keeping... way. We, we haven't pointed this out, but yeah, Sylveon's totally yeah, unique. Yeah, because this would have yeah. had to be. Because this, this mm -hmm. has no sprite equivalent in yeah. any game. But even amongst the stuff that is, like, they put in, like, the animations for a lot of them, which takes a while, and it's just, like, they, they've done their work. Yep, they've done a absolute crap ton of work. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna shell smash. Okay. Like, oh, that was a weird picture. Yeah, just, so <laughs> there's a person inside. 
Well, it would crack open the pumpkin and become a crab, I guess. But um, normally that that looks like a, a, um, a whatchamacallit shell. A, a, a cloister or a shelter? Mm -hmm. I forget. It, it looks like that, though, and it did not that time. That was... Like, it probably uses, like, RPG Maker effects, which I'm yeah, assuming... Yeah, it looked like it. Yeah. I assume they're going to start replacing the attack effects with things that look a little better for a lot of them. Uh, over time, I'm guessing. Yeah. Because it, yeah. it, it's always felt like the RPG Maker built-in stuff were, like, stand-ins. And they've done so much with everything. Like, there was a Winter patch Tinder? that... Oh, yeah. God, this thing. I forgot. Yeah, there was a, a, a patch uh, that came out, like this last month so like they're they're working on it yeah 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 mm -hmm. what is this thing like flying and fairy it's fairy and fighting okay yeah like like we fought a bunch of its uh, unevolved form the jack dearies so yeah, yeah 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 they're they're fighting oh well, it just killed it there it goes <laughs> okay does nobody get that experience uh, i don't think anybody does man we'll see whatever yeah, nobody gets the experience. This is uh, also a sprite they would have had to oh, make. Oh come scratch. on, really? I did. I almost started fighting, and then realized what it was. Yep. Oh fucking hell! Fairy type. I I thought that they wouldn't use a fairy type. I like the chances of that were so incredibly low. Oh, uh, what like a one in seventeen chance? I don't know. Yeah, but the first Pokemon that they led with was a fairy type, and the second one was not a fairy type. I don't know. So it's not like the person's using only, like, one type of Pokemon. Unless Jack Deary, unless we're getting that wrong, and it is actually a fairy type. Yes, it is. I oh, said is it fairy, fairy and fighting? fighting? Oh, okay, then there was, like, a 100% chance it would have been fairy. Yeah. I, I read the, uh, I read the room wrong. Yeah, I, didn't I say fairy? I, uh, I hope I, I didn't I thought you said flying and fighting. No, you they, said yeah. flying and fighting. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. No, I said flying and fairy. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it's fairy and fighting. Yeah, all right, that makes sense. All right. Kathy, why'd you beat me? Ack. Ack. <laughs> Thank God we both think a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, we both like to do a lot of weird, like, just spectating of newspaper comics. Yeah, and being no, like, they're... What is happening here? I mean, you... Just... They're awful, but it's wonderful. Yeah, people on this channel probably already know I love Heathcliff. Yeah, well, we, we did an entire Heathcliff game, so God, yeah. yes. That was amazing. <laughs> but like... Like, we'll just sort of, like, every so often we'll be reminded that a newspaper strip exists and be like, what the fuck was this? Ack. 